Hey guys, I am super excited today to do a little tour of my home theater. I have been wanting to have my own home theater for literally decades. And I finally, finally reached a point where all the pieces came together and I was able to put together what I think is a really, really cool home theater. And I'm super excited to share it with you guys today. So to begin with, my home theater is in my basement. I'm really, really fortunate to have a home with an unfinished basement when we bought the house. And so we've lived here for a few years. And so as you come down the stairs uh, into the basement, the door opens up and you walk in and this whole room is now basically a dedicated home theater space. And it is about 22 feet deep and about 14 and a half feet wide. And the ceiling, technically it's supposed to be an eight foot ceiling, but the builder didn't quite do that. And so it's a just over seven and a half feet tall, which I thought that was gonna be a really, really big deal to have a lower ceiling. But honestly, I haven't even noticed it. It, it works, it just works. So in the front, I have a 145 inch dragonfly screen. So yeah, I think the screen turned out phenomenal. I, I went back and forth on whether to do a 16 by nine versus a 2.4. And ultimately I landed on the 16 by nine um, just because of, of how it fills the space. Um, I didn't wanna get too close to that front, you know, the door in the corner. And I wanted to have room on the edge for a uh, base trap. So my home theater is a 7.2.4. So I've got seven speakers on the bed layer. I have four Atmos speakers in the ceiling, and then I've got two subwoofers. And for my speakers, I used all uh, Golden Ear, the Golden Ear Invisa lineup. And so for the mains, I use the Golden Ear Invisa SPS. And then for the sides and surrounds, I use the Golden Ear uh, MPX. And then for the Atmos, I use the Golden Ear Invisa 650s. And those are all in-wall speakers with the uh, plates that cover them. And so I actually got um, a custom spray, spray paint that, to match my wall paint. And so I sprayed the, the covers myself. And uh, yeah, I think they turned out really well. Like they're, they're almost invisible, which is fantastic. Um, so for the, for the paint color, I get a lot of questions of uh, people asking me about the paint color. I got the paint from Sherwin-Williams. And if you're curious, it's the Mount Etna color. I'm not sure what the number is, but yeah, it's the Mount Etna. And I really like this paint because I got flat, so it doesn't reflect. It is super dark. So when we're watching a movie, the walls just basically disappear. But with the lights on, it has, it still has a little bit of color, like depending on the light lighting, it can be kind of have some green in it, but it can also have some blue in it. So I'm really, really happy with how the, the paint color turned out. For the projector, I have the Epson 6050UB. Um, obviously it's mounted to the ceiling. Um, and when the basement was under construction, I ran conduit from that location into the closet at the front of the room. And so I pulled, uh, once everything was done, I was able to pull an HDMI cable through that conduit. And if I ever need to replace that, that uh, HDMI cable for whatever reason, whether it gets broken or damaged um, or outdated, I need to update it, uh, I can just pull it out and run a new one through. So that's really nice. Now, the exception to my speakers being golden ears, uh, my subwoofers are actually from Episode, which is not a brand that you see mentioned very often on forums or YouTube videos. They're not really common, um, but I had an opportunity to buy some and try them out. And I have to say, I am super, super happy with them. I've got two of them, one on the left and one on the right, and they are 15 inch um, and they just thump. And the great thing about these subwoofers are that you can download an app and so I can control the subwoofers over a over the app, and I can control things like phase, uh, time delay, volume. 
Uh, it even has an auto auto EQ function, which I found actually works pretty well. Um, I've been pretty happy with that. And then obviously in the room, I've got two, actually three levels of seating. I have the couch on the main level, a raised platform that has three theater style chairs. And then behind that, I've got the bar uh, with three bar stools behind it. And so when it's just me or a couple people, we can sit in the theater chairs. But if we have a larger crowd, we have enough seating to accommodate quite a few people. And we have, we have done that. <laughs> now, as you'll notice in the room, there are sound treatment panels mounted on both the walls as well as the ceiling and in the corners. I got panels from GIK Acoustics. Half of the panels are purely absorption and then the other half of the panels are absorption with a scatter plate in the front which is behind the fabric so you can't actually see it but it's there. And so I've got two panels on the side walls and then I've got three in the ceiling and then one on the back wall to cut down on reflections off of the back wall. And then I have two base traps, one in the front corner and one in the back corner. So I'm kind of a minimalist. I like things to be clutter free. Um, and so you'll notice in this room, there's not a lot in the way of decorations. Uh, I don't have any toys. I don't have any, uh, aside from the pillows, which, we're running a little low on pillows. I think we could probably do with, we could probably use a few more pillows. Um, but aside from that, this room is basically empty of anything that isn't absolutely necessary to the home theater experience, with only two exceptions. I did include a couple of movie posters. They were actually given to me as a gift um, from somebody who knows me quite well. And so uh, you may be wondering, what in the world is Troll 2? Well, if you know, you know. Uh, so I had, I had to throw that up there and I've, I've had a number of people, uh, they, uh, get quite a kick out of that. So another thing about this room is while it is a home theater, it also doubles as just a fantastic space to just be in. Even if you're not watching anything or listening to anything, it's just a space that is just so calming. Uh, it's, I, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's just very peaceful in here. And I have had no less than six people after I show them this room, ask me, so do you come down here and just never want to leave? And to me, that is probably the biggest compliment I have received from, from people on the home theater. And, and that's even even with people raving about the sound or the picture or whatever. The fact that people come here and then say to me, basically, uh, if I lived here, I would never want to leave this room. That is the biggest compliment I, I could imagine. The number one comment I get from people and literally every single person who sits in these chairs, I have yet to have anybody not ask this question. They sit down and they say, hey, what do these buttons do? And then they push on them. Actually, uh, places for uh, tray tables. You tray tables with a post, and then they fit down in there. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny. We always get that question. Now, you're probably wondering what this wall covering is behind the couch. That is a makeshift temporary covering because behind it is a window. And what I found was, A, the window let in a lot of light and I wanted a 100% light controlled room. So I wanted that blacked out. So the curtains black out all light. When Even in the middle of the day, I can turn off all the lights and this room is essentially pitch black. Um, but then the second thing is that glass window was basically a sound mirror. It, I was getting tons of sound reflections off of that wall. And so what I did was, is I got some pillowcases and I filled them with uh, attic insulation and I used four pillowcases and I filled them up with insulation and then I placed them inside the, the window uh, cavity. And so it serves two purposes. One, it block, helps block out the light. And then two is those pillowcases full of insulation absorb a lot of sound. So here's kind of a funny story about this couch. Uh, we really wanted to put this sectional down here um, and the love seat 
it's in three pieces and the love seat section came down really easily and the corner piece came down the stairs no problem but this big section was too big we literally could not fit it through the door at the top of the stairs let alone down the stairs and then around the corner here and we had all but given up on the idea and then my wife and i kind of she mentioned well is there a way you could like cut the couch and i'm like uh maybe so long story short i cut the couch in half and brought it down in two pieces and then once i got it down here i reassembled it and you would never guess you can't even tell um i used uh metal plates uh, and the on all the pieces that i cut i used metal plates screwed them in and it basically just saw it like attached it back together and then reupholstered it um with the original upholstery and you'd never guess that that couch had been cut in half another thing that this room is great for naps i come down here frequently and i take a nap and it is literally the best place in the house to just take a quick snooze it's awesome one of the great things about this home theater that i'm really really happy about is the fact that all the electronics are hidden out of sight and out of hearing range all of the electronics are in the front of the room behind that wall and and what that is that space that is the space that's underneath the stairs and so it's kind of a little closet slash storage room well i converted it into my electronics closet as you can see i have some shelves for movies that i am collecting slowly over time and then i also have my equipment rack and at the top i have the panamax uh power conditioner and surge protector and then i've got some uh, controllers for my ps5 and my ps4 and then i also have uh below that my receiver actually technically it's a processor i have the marantz 7706 and then below that is the apple tv and at the very bottom i put it at the bottom because this is by far the heaviest piece and that is the 11 channel amplifier from yamaha it's the mx a5200 and i love this receiver it's 11 channels and it does 150 watts per channel at two tra two channels driven um it drops down uh, a little bit once you're driving all 11 channels but it handles this system so well. I am super, super happy with uh, that Marantz uh, processor and that Yamaha amp combo. It's just, it's just phenomenal. And one of the other things that was important to me was having access to the back of my rack. Uh, one of the things that really bothers me about having equipment in a rack is that um, once you get everything in and it looks great, but trying to attach everything that's behind the rack and so it's in hard to reach place so this rack actually worked out perfectly because there's just enough space for me to slip around behind the rack and then i have full access to the entire back of the rack and it's not perfect but i did try to make it tidy and look decent and you know somewhat organized um and that it's just great because i can get back there and make any changes or move anything around that i need to and it's it's great so that about wraps it up um that is about everything in my theater um i just want to say that if you're thinking about doing a home theater or you want to do a home theater i cannot recommend it enough having a space to enjoy movies as they're meant to be seen is just second to none it is such an awesome experience i highly recommend it even if you're just doing um, in a living room or a bedroom and you want to get a nice tv and a nice sound system do it go for it so that is my theater i'm so happy i got to share it with you guys and hopefully you enjoy it and yeah have a good one